so let's start the journey of url shortener with test driven development and you can see the server is already started and if i go to the firefox this is localhost and what we want to achieve think about this first we need a route of url shortener so normally what we do we will go to web.php file create the route and then we will go on our project and then we will check the route but this is not the way you do things on tdd that means test driven development so how you start firstly you need to start from test directory because we are going to write a test yes we know nothing is there so let's start by writing a test so you can see we have two things feature and unit test the feature test is just going to be the test on the respect of a user so what we want to achieve whenever user want to go to url shortener this is the route then we are expecting some page some view so let's write a test for that so why not create a new test and for that we have a command so php artisan but wait i have a alias for php artisan so php artisan make test and the test name is let's say url shortener and this is done so let's hit enter and test is created and i think we need to give a suffix of test here that's great so if i now try to run this test which is the default given by the level it's just saying assert true so let's run the test and to run the test we are going to use vendor bin php unit and let's try to run the test three tests why three one in the example test one in url shortener test and one is again inside unit example test so now because we usually want to run the test so i have already a extension on vs code which is called better php unit it's just going to have a shortcut on your uh, vs code to run particular test so you can see this is having command shift and p and obviously if you are in windows that will depends upon the key binding you have so my key binding i have configured it for command r so if i run command r yeah you can see that particular this test is run okay so let's rename this test or what we can do we can just clear this out and i have a shortcut or a snippet of test and how you create a snippet again another extension called a snippet so let's yeah uh, a snippet creator this allow you to create a snippet so i will say a snippet so create a snippet and then you will create that so because i have already created so let me show you the snippet prefer snippet on the php and you can see this is the test so let's see how it's going to look okay so let's name the test and you can see here we have a dog box and inside that we have given at test because whenever php unit the test framework php unit want to run the test we need to tell the php unit that this function is actually a test function so either you can do this or you can remove it or prefix this with a test so if i try to run and you can see it's running successfully but there is no assertion that's why it's a warning so i prefer this one because in that case the name of the function of the test function is clear so what we want to achieve a user can visit this route so simple thing a user can visit url shortener route and we have to give exact descriptive name because maybe later after six months or a year later you come back to this uh, function because of some problem and you say oh, what this is going to do so the name exactly tells you the uh, purpose of this test so if you want to send a get request on your test you can say this arrow get 
and then you can provide the url shortener this is good but where is the test yeah we are going here but now after that we chain with assert okay this says that okay that means the status has to be zero you can also do this thing that assert status of 200 uh, these things this and this are same okay let's try to run it let's see the result so we are running it and because of the better php we can run single test only and it's having some problem it says response code is 404 does not match the expected 200 and that's the case you know why because we don't have this route and that has to be short in nerve so short nerve okay it's not there so let's go to web.php file and firstly i will clear this so let's create a route just after this route is a get request route and this is the has to be url hyphen shortener and let's say i'm going to now i'm going to just say closer and return uh, anything <laughs> okay so let's go here and run the test once more and yes you can see the test is successful but let's do one thing let's give this route a name name of url hyphen shortener in that case what we can achieve here on the test and here we can just say route of url shortener in this way let's just run the test yeah it is successful in this way maybe later you have changed the actual name just url or maybe just shortener so in that way this, you don't have to change that url on your test you just change on the web.php it will reflect everywhere great so let's get back okay this is nice but you know it's not doing anything it's not having anything because if i try to see exact thing here and refresh we are getting sdf which i have returned here this is not we want we want to have some kind of controller so why not create a link controller so link controller so link controller is the uh, url link so that's why link controller at index so what if i run the test now we know we don't have any link controller so let's go to the test and run the test and it says failure because yes we don't have that uh, that controller but in the test we are not getting anything it just says that oh, you have 500 error 500 error means you have some syntax error or there is some problem with your code so it's not clear here so what happening here because whenever we are running the test we need to stop the exceptions so because of the exception it is giving the 500 so how we can do that you just need to say this arrow and just say without exception handling just by doing this if i run the test once more now it's super clear that reflection exception link controller does not exist so you can see now our test is giving us the information what we need to do next we are saying yeah we want to visit the url and that has to be everything okay but it's not there why because our test is saying that you don't have the link controller so why not create that link controller so if i go to web.php file and now in a terminal i will say php artisan make controller and link controller okay so let's just hit enter and link controller is created inside our app http controller link controller good so what if i try to run the test once more run the test and again it's having the error 
error is let's see the error it says again link controller index does not found that's very nice because we have told to laravel on our web.ph file that we are going to get link controller and at index function so the our test is saying that index function is not there so let's create the index function now so i have another <laughs> snippet of creating the function so fun again you can create that also so now we need to say index and nothing else but what if i run the test now hmm it's passing it's passing because everything is there we have the route we have the controller we have the index function but we know we don't want to this to be blanked we want to return some kind of view so let's say return view and the view name is link dot index super easy things and what if i run the test now and i think you have guessed it right because we don't have these views this is going to give error let's run the test and yeah error is there and error says view link dot index not found super easy so our test is saying you need to create the view let's create the view so in the resources views i will going to create link slash index dot php and that has to be index dot blade dot php and because i have i am creating the file doing link slash will create the link directory also so yeah here we have so now what i am going to do i'm going to just run the test once more and it's green but again the problem here comes is that everything is fine but we are not returning anything inside our blade file so let's just give some kind of htmls here so html is here and i will say url shortener and let's grab the link for the css we have so i think you know these things assert and link and that no that's not link actually so assert then css slash app dot css similarly on the body part we need to give the script but its script is not required so let's move on okay so because we are going to use the bootstrap here and laravel itself uses bootstrap so we have the container class and inside container let's create a row class and then i'm going to say here url shortener this we have created and we know if i run the test it's still passing but how we can assert that our blade file the html file contain url shortener this keyword so again what you can do you can change this thing and you can say okay that has to be okay fine but whatever html you get on this route you need to assert to see the text which is url shortener so let's correct the spelling here also shortener and what if i just comment this out and try to run the test we have some problem yeah the problem is we need to close this line okay so run the test once more and we have the error it says all the html we have here doesn't contain url shortener so let's grab back url shortener run the test and still green so in that way we are assured that whenever we are having this application this url shortener is going to be there and our route everything else is working absolutely fine now at this point we have not touched our browser just for this one we have not touched our browser by doing all these things by writing this test you are assured that if you refresh here you will see url shortener that's the power of using test so whenever you have whenever you are refactoring whenever you are making changes in your application you are always assured that this thing is never going to change is not having any bug because if there is a bug your test will tell you so i think these things are 
understandable and i have started with very basic things so let's move on to the next episode so that we can see how we can proceed with these things and how we can create this kind of layout and then we move on to the url shortener process so if you have liked this episode and you want to follow me on this project just go and subscribe to this channel if you have not already done that don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification you can like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram at bitfumes and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye